Levier Fine Writing Instruments presents The Turning Process of a Candle Holder We are going to start this project by selecting a um, regular size, not too thick, um, piece of maple. Once again, here at Levier we try to maximize the natural resources by reclaiming wood. In this particular case, this is a piece of maple that we are going to use. In order to make a circle, we use the blade runner from Rockwell in combination with a circle jig in order to have a almost perfect cylindrical shape. Still, we need to do a lot of cleaning in the faces so we can make them flat. Here we can see that the balance of the um, wood piece is better than previous projects. What we need to do is to define the circle in order to continue with the uh, shape of this project. For the preliminary cuts we can use the spindle gouge the modified spindle gouge or just a roughing gouge. Here at Levier we are trying to maximize the use of the skew. These projects are a great opportunity for us to practice the mastering of this tool. Here we are using the long point of the skew to make a cleaning cut. Please take under consideration that the um, protrusion of the skew is uh, quite big or it, the skew is extended too much. So tool control is a must in this operation. Now we are moving the skew to a different position. This is similar as a scraper and here we are defining more the circular shape of this project. It is now time to move to the four jaw scroll chop in combination with the long jaws or the ones that are designed specifically for ball and plater turn. Remember, these jaws are designed for turning projects with no more than 1000 RPMs. There are many ways to approach this project. In our particular case, we decided to go to the parting tool to start the cleaning process. Then, we move to the modified spindle gouge or the modified detail gouge, gouge as we are seeing in this video. This is going to be the face that is going to provide the support for this candle holder. We are using now the square scraper in order to achieve a perfect surface. Here we are using a plastic ruler to see if there is any daylight between the ruler and the piece. If there's no light, that means that we have a perfectly flat surface. It is now time to do a recess for the chalk. We are going to use the number two jaws to hold this part but now instead of applying pressure on the inside what we are going to do we are going to stand the chalk so we can provide an external holding force The cleaning process for the second phase is going to be similar or identical 
as the one that we did a couple of minutes ago using padding tool and the detailed gouge or the modified spindle gouge. It is now time to start with the preliminary shape of this project. As we are able to see in these preliminary cuts for the preliminary shape, we're able to see that this project can be used in many applications. You can use it for clocks, candle holders, bases for lamps, ashtrays, you name it. It is now time to move to the sanding of this project. We are going to use dry progressive sanding from 100 grit to 600 in order to achieve the maximum smoothness available for this project. The last design detail that we are going to add to this project is texturing by this special tool that will apply an excellent finish for an excellent detail to this project. Levier would like to say thank you to all the team that is behind the scenes making these projects possible. Our sponsors, Alberto Cavazos and Lydia Quiroga, primary sponsors of Levier Fine Reed Instruments, Marta Acosta, Product Development and Quality Control, Carmina Cavazos as a business partner and a marketing researcher, and Dave Olson as supply change management. And especially all the YouTube audience that are taking time to see the videos and to send the emails. Thank you.